You are watching Cultural Express. Laughing and chatting with us, Tony Leung looked very relaxed and happy during his American promotion of The Grandmaster. Who would imagine this actor took years of excruciating kung fu classes, who even broke his arms twice to prepare for this movie? You went through some crazy training to prepare for this role. How did that training help you to portray Ip Man? Wow. It helps a lot. It helps a lot because in order to manage all the uh, uh, basic moves in, in Wing Chun Kung Fu, you, you need a lot of practice. At a certain standard, when you reach a certain maturity, you can train the mind. The mind, what we call Wu Xing, no mindedness, uh, Wu Wei, Zi Ran Wu Wei, it's natural and non doing. Then something spiritual. You cannot learn it from just reading two books. So that's why Kung Fu in Chinese means accumulation of practice and time. And through that, those things will grow inside you. If you ask any Tony Leung fans what they love about him, they would say his enchanting smile. However, the actor told us that the smile the audience will see in The Grandmaster actually belongs to Ip Man, whose spirit was translated on the big screen. I think what makes this man great is, um, I mean Ip Man, is not his uh, physical ability, it's his wisdom and his knowledge that he inspired from Kung Fu. He lived a very difficult life in Hong Kong, and what I, what I uh, see from his picture that he took in Hong Kong, that he was took in Hong Kong in various gatherings and banquet uh, with uh, the Kung Fu Circle, I know how difficult he is in Hong Kong from, uh, from my uh, Kung Fu teacher and Kawei research, but I can, I can still see his, uh, his dignity in his eyes, and he always wears a smile. Uh, I can feel the calmness and the peaceful and the peace in his mind. How can the people do that? And Kawai said it's, uh, he is very optimistic. I say no, he might inspire something from Kung Fu. What I try to uh, project, uh, portray this time, I, what I want to show to audience this time, it, uh, in, uh, this kind of grandmaster is not just their physical ability. Somehow from Kung Fu they will open up their wisdom. The Grandmaster has an animated comic book inspired by the movie. The idea of making a Chinese Kung Fu master into an American comic hero fascinated Tony Leung. Comic heroes sometimes related me to uh, Superman or Batman, but I think, yeah, it can be, but to me, Yip Man is more human, human, but can be a comic hero, but not a superhero. <laughs> Actually, to Tony Leung, his real-life hero is director Wong Kar Wai, who has casted Tony in seven out of his ten feature films. It's very hard to describe our relationship. We were very strange. We know each other for 20 years, but we seldom met, and on the set we seldom talk. We just, we just connect to each other. I'm really lucky to have a, uh, someone who have the same passion for movies and, and who, who work the same way. We always want to do perfect. We try, we try no matter how hard it is, you know, whatever it takes for us, but it's, it's hard to have someone to come, acro come across your life. I think very much like the relationship between uh, Yip Man and Gong. They just met once, but they have that kind of connection. They admire each other, they respect each other. It's like a soulmate. There's a lot of directors I admire in, 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 in Hollywood, like Christopher Nolan. If I have the chance to work with him, I would love to. But uh, I think fate brings people together. I never plan and I never purposely uh, look for anything to happen, but things happen, happen. The American edition of The Grand Master runs about one hour and 50 minutes with carefully translated subtitles for the Western market. American audiences will have a chance to see Tony Leung's version of Ip Man in selected theaters on August 23rd and nationwide on the 30th. Wang T. Shu, CCTV News, Hollywood.